I welcome dear students to this video session. This is ninth video of chapter one. Hope all of you are in a good health. Today I am going to discuss about projector, hard disk, CD-ROM, and DVD. Previous class I explained about the printers, impact printers, non-impact printers. Laser printers and inkjet printers. Now let us start with the projector. So, projector is an output device right? that enables the user to project the output onto a large surface such as a big screen or a wall. So, projector is an output device that can take images generated by a computer and displayed on the screen okay. also it can be connected to a computer and similar devices to project their output onto a screen right so it uses light and lenses to produce magnified text images and videos so it it is an ideal also device to give presentations or to teach a large number of people so what we see can see a larger view and uh, basically it is used for the to display a powerpoint presentation at the business meeting sure. no. uh, also to teach a class in a school so each and every student get a larger view next one project a tv or computer with movie playing to a large screen so we can enjoy a live cricket match also or the movie the larger view to give a demo of a product or services, you know. So, for example, in uh, any organization, the head of the organization just want to give the demo of a particular product, you know. So they can use the projector for a larger view, and uh, everyone within a large hall can able to see the demo here so this is the benefit of the projector and we can understand the this is here this is the projector okay now another important topic we are going to discuss the uh, storage devices and what are the use of the storage devices a storage, device, a storage devices are used to store information permanently. Hey, till the time we delete it ourselves, some of the storage devices a hard disk. So hard disk are the most famously used secondary storage device. You know, uh, they are around flat pieces of metal covered with the magnetic oxide and they're available in the many sizes uh, from 1 to 14 inch diameter right so hard disk you can see here the side of the hard disk you know and uh, this is the high capacity storage device you know so it is the data center of the computer Hey, when you work on a any application like you are working with HTML, you are working with Excel, you are working with the when you are going to draw any image drawing, we do. So what we do generally, you save your data in a hard disk, right? So hard disk, you save your data. Okay, so this is the general it is uh, you can see the uh, 500 GB. And uh, it is nowadays one TV, two TV hard disk is available nowadays. 
So you can see this is the high capacity storage device. Okay. So what you work on your computer simply store in the hard disk. We can see simply, right? Another important topic that is here the CD-ROM, right? CD-ROM stands for compact disk read only memory, right? So CD is a shiny metal disk of the silver color. You can see the rounded shapes and shiny. You know when you uh, when you uh, go to the light area or in a sun ray, it reflects the sun rays when uh, you know when you focus on. So a CD is a shiny metal disc of the silver color, right? Generally silver, but it is already pre-recorded, and the data on it cannot be altered. So what is the meaning of that? Who writes on that particular CD? So it is written by the manufacturer. You know, the it is uh, at the time of manufacturing, it is written by the manufacturer. So it is already pre-recorded. And the data on it cannot be altered. So we cannot, we can read only, we cannot edit, and even we you know. So it uh, is usually has a storage capacity of 7 MB. You can also see the 9 MB, 100 MB of data it can hold. And approximately, you can see four and a half inches in diameter. Okay. So a CD ROM drives or optical drives is the device used to read then we can only read we cannot alter we cannot modify the data this is the read only memory now you can see here the shiny surface of the back of this cd rom you know so it uh, you can see here clear data it reflects when you uh, there is a light on that it reflects the so it is now most of the softwares are available in CD. Uh, CD ROM are two types. You can see this is the CDR, it recordable, and another is the CDRW. This is the rewritable. So, so now hope it is uh, clear to you. Another important point we are going to discuss this is the DVD. DVD stands for digital versatile disk, right? So DVD is a type of optical media and it is used for storing digital data. So when we compare with the CD, it can store more amount of data. So generally a standard DVD can store 4.7 GB of data, right? So it is enough to hold, we can say just is a two hours of video. If the resolution is the 720 pixel resolution. You know, data is very from the when you are going to high definitions, you know, uh, 360, 7, 480, 720, 108 pixels, di different resolutions. Okay, so even we can store two layers of data on the single side of the disk, can store 8.5 GB of data. So, dual sided DVD can store. 9.4 GB of data and dual layer dual side sided so it can approximately double we can see the 17.1 GB of data i hope it is clear to you and uh, see here the dvd is similar to the cd rom you can see d and uh, dvd you know so image it is clear to you all of you uh, thank you all of you dear students. I hope all of you got the point which I explained here. Thanks for bye for now. See you.